Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition, a birthday rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery. Well, happy birthday to me. Uh, it's been a good day. Had a great day. Good day at work. Nice and cool. We went in the swamp. We did our job, so that was nice. And it's been a good day. Hey, we'll get started. 22 veterans a day commit suicide. This Friday is our raffle. This is what we're raffling off. We've had a lot of participation so far. Pardon me. Let me get right there. There's our board. Um, and it's been good. So this Friday, we, we bring that to a close. We'll be sending the money to Southeastern Guide Dogs and trying to get dogs in the hands of veterans who need them as comfort dogs. And hopefully this will help. We're going to do our part every chance we can to get that number from 22 to zero. And guys, we haven't forgot you. Ladies, we haven't forgot you. We're here. You fought for us. We'll fight for you. Now our, our Leos, we back the blue. We support our law enforcement officers and all our addicts are welcome here. Now, before we get, we got past that part. Now there's another caveat. I do want to say this. I've showed y'all this several times. It's Les George Zero Tolerance. Beautiful knife. Uh, I've got to say thank you to Kirk Weiss. Uh, this is my birthday present. I didn't know it. Kirk gave it to me today. And it is absolutely gorgeous. So Kirk, thank you guys for everybody that's got me stuff and well wishes and all that. Let me cover everybody. For everybody who said or done anything, thank you so much. It's been a good birthday. Um, we've had a good night here at the house, and so we're going to make this kind of quick so we can get on to that. Now, the knife I got for you today is a knife I love. I, I fell in love with this thing, but the less George up here. We'll be doing a review of that soon. Um, it's the CRK T. Yeah. CR. Shit, hold on. CRK T, yeah. Columbia. Having a hard time. Columbia River Knife and Tools. Kind of simple. But I showed y'all this one the other day. Now this is made after a, a Persian design. And I'll, that'll be in the description. What Because I can't pronounce it. And I will try to. But I've fiddled with this knife all day. And you can see some of the. I've, I messed with it so much. Some of the coating's coming off. Um, but this is SK5. I love this knife. Dude. Love it. So put it through some tests. Our standard test. Our everyday test. I love this. Um, you can use it as a neck knife. I probably will not. I showed y'all a clip yesterday. I'm going to put that on it so it can just be kind of a scout carry, kind of a quick go-to. You know what I'm saying, son? Everybody's going to have that go-to. Now, <clears throat> we run some tests. i tell you what I am going to do. I'll see y'all at the back end of the video. I love you. God bless you. Enjoy the frames. Enjoy the footage. Enjoy the stuff. Enjoy the show. You know what I'm saying. Well, thank you, Scab. I believe they will enjoy the show. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Here we go. Just coming out the gate with the CRKT Scrub SK5. I put uh, what they base this design on on the front page. Hope y'all can have better luck in pronouncing it than I did. Gorgeous knife. You see some wear and tear there uh, from me banging on the knife throughout this video and throughout the day. I used it all day long. It's very sharp. Let's see what we're going to do here. A little apple cutting. And this thing really peeled it. Uh, perfect knife for this. Uh, this is just a, a small, I think, everyday carry. Definitely jack of all trades type knife. Especially for a man who eats many apples as I do, and I never see a doctor. Probably should here and there, you know, but I digress. Look at that. Just them thin ass slices and me eating it. So, this thing does a good job. Yep, I just went ahead and ate apples too. Did a good job on this red delicious. Went right through there. Now, y'all can see in the background, we got some styrofoam foam. Yep, get rid of them peelings there. Ate that one. You know, old scab can get it done. So, that's my birthday. A little extra apple on my birthday. Really got some stickability there. You'll notice that apple didn't want to come off of there. And uh, we just keep working on it. You got some really thin slices. I do love this blade. I don't think I told y'all the thickness of it. It's less than an eighth, or it's about an eighth. Um, it's not very thick, probably an eighth, but it's just got a perfect shape for slicing. Um, I didn't sharpen it up, it was straight out of the box that way, and, and like I said, I got two of them because, I mean, darn, they're $12 each. You can't beat that. Handy little knife if you're out camping, picnicking, whatever. 
I love this knife. I mean, I am a big fan of it. And I like the SK Steel. Now, this thing was so sharp that every time I go to shave this copper wire back, I cut it in twain, son. Another phone charger, and they are stunned. But it did the trick. Now, it did get some wire showing, and, you know, it did shave it. But I'm telling y'all, the dang thing is sharp as a razor. Kind of out the box that way. I, I, that's why I like that SK5. Um, I've read somewhere where somebody said it was comparable to like 1075. I, I don't know. I like SK5 as much as I like 1095. Um, is it a super steel? No. Is it a budget steel? Yeah. But I'll take it all day, every day. I mean, I absolutely love it. I've got a uh, CRKT Rockus on that I got to do a cutting video on. It's one of my favorite knives. Same thing, SK5. Now, here's this cherry tree. You can always tell cherry by how it smells, and it does not smell like cherries. It's not blossoming everywhere, but it, it stripped this down pretty good. So if you want to make some steaks, steaks like we did Saturday on our old camping out, I can make that. I can make this a weenie roaster, a marshmallow roaster, or make some s'mores. You know, I can do all that kind of stuff. Probably need to let it dry out some, but this knife just sliced right through it. Now, there were some spots because it was a knotty piece of wood that I had to kind of push down and, and get down on. But it got it done pretty good. And then uh, shave this pretty good. I think I did a little batoning right in here somewhere. It's not a chopper. We're not even going to pretend like it was a chopper. If you chop with it, I, I don't know what the hell you chop. But it does get some batoning done. We did some real light batoning. I'd say a one inch diameter stick there, that cherry wood. Just banged it down in there. No, no give, no warping, no damage to the blade, no damage to the spine. Everything held together pretty good. Um, although it's thin, it was very sturdy. I'm not sure the Rockwell hardness. I'll get that here in a second. And we can go from there on it. Um, I'm thinking it's a little higher on the Rockwell hardness. Let me see here. Let me see what I can find. I can't find a damn thing. That's good. It's a trailing point. Blade thickness is 0.12 inches. Uh, blade width is one and a quarter. I told you I was a little wider for this type of thing. It doesn't give me it does not give me a Rockwell hardness. I'm a little aggravated with that, but that's okay. Overall length is 7.2 or seven and a quarter inches. Uh, blade length is three and three quarters inches. Cutting edge is three and a quarter inches. Blade width is inch and a quarter. Blade material, like we've said several times, SK5. The blade style, they call a trailing point with a flat grind. Y'all see that black finish. Now the finish was coming off. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Y'all know I'm not a big finish guy. The handle was three and a half inches. A little, little short for me for what I typically like. But just like that RMJ, I'm just telling y'all, man, it, it's just, there's something about it. Y'all see, I mean, it's just, and I know this is a pool noodle, which will wreck this blade, but it cut it all up, sliced it to death. Now here's the ever famous scab patented stab the bottle or slash test. What I'm gonna do first here, I got it. Patented miss, come back, do a quick slash, big slash right there. That's that up swoop blade. Y'all remember I made that word up, the up swoop. And then I stab it a few times here. Just really getting in my groove here. I, mean, I always do that and hit my thumb, about break my thumb every damn time. Now, y'all see it's blowing through the plastic here. That up swept blade. I, I, it just to me is can do some for slicing. This is the inside of some paracord. Cut this up for a little portage and to make me a little, um, I said port, not portage, uh, cut me up, put several bundles of it to use as a fire starter for like my striker, fire striker, fire steel. That's something we're going to do on the next uh, camping video too. Well, there's old scab showing y'all some difference. Still look at them hands. Look at that. You can conceal that blade very easily. Listen. I love you guys. Here's the Donnie B all day patent to throw it down, pick it up and throw it down. We love Donnie B all day at this channel. Uh, stand behind him. I got a, 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 a knife order that I cannot wait. Can't wait for y'all to see it. A D-bad, D-guard buoy. Can't believe I said it. Well, I'm scabbed. You're not. Happy birthday to me.